the unsolved disappearance of William Billy Smolinski Jr. is a haunting mystery that has puzzled the small community of Waterbury, Connecticut for nearly two decades. Billy was a 31-year-old man with a bright future ahead of him, known for his kindness and strong family ties. He was last seen on August 24, 2004, at his home on Holly Street. What began as an ordinary day soon turned into a nightmare for Billy's loved ones, who have been left grappling with unanswered questions and heartache. Billy's disappearance is filled with eerie details and unsettling clues. One of his last known actions was making a threatening phone call to a man named Chris Sorensen, who was involved with Billy's ex-girlfriend, Madeline Gleason. Billy's message to Sorensen to watch his back hints at underlying tensions and conflicts that may have played a role in his fate. Despite extensive searches and investigations, no trace of Billy has ever been found, leaving his family and the community in a perpetual state of anguish and uncertainty. The chilling story of Billy Smolinski is not just about a missing person. It's a tale of unresolved grief, tireless efforts for justice, and the dark, often frustrating path that families of the missing must walk. As we delve into the details of Billy's disappearance, the investigation, and the impact on those who loved him, we uncover a story that is as perplexing as it is tragic. Join us as we explore the mysterious case of Billy Smolinski, a man whose life was abruptly and inexplicably cut short, leaving behind a trail of eerie clues and unanswered questions. On August 24th, 2004, Billy Smolinski's routine day took a mysterious and alarming turn. He had recently broken up with his girlfriend, Madeline Gleason, suspecting she was cheating on him. That morning, in a desperate attempt to confront her, Billy climbed a ladder to her bedroom window and entered her home. He pleaded with her to reconcile and move in with him, but Madeline refused, saying she needed time to think. This would be their final interaction. Later that day, around 3.30 p.m., Billy spoke with his neighbor, Leroy Henley. He asked Henley to watch his dog, Harley, because he was planning to go up north for a few days. This was not unusual behavior for Billy, who often traveled and made arrangements for Harley's care. Henley agreed, and Billy left, never to be seen again. Billy's absence was immediately felt. He had a close-knit relationship with his family and always stayed in touch. When days passed without any word from him, his family grew increasingly worried. They discovered Billy's truck parked strangely at the end of his driveway, with his keys and wallet hidden under the driver's seat. This unusual detail added to their growing sense of dread. On August 27, 2004, Billy's family reported him missing. Despite their fears, the initial response from law enforcement was underwhelming. No large-scale search was launched, and it seemed as though Billy's case was not being taken seriously. His dog, left behind without care, was another troubling sign that something was terribly wrong. As days turned into weeks, Billy's family took matters into their own hands. They distributed flyers, conducted interviews, and appeared on television to keep Billy's story alive. Despite their efforts, there was no sign of Billy, and the case began to grow cold. The eerie details surrounding his disappearance, his sudden trip, the cryptic voicemail, and the abandoned truck only deepened the mystery. Billy Smolinski vanished without a trace, leaving his family and friends in a state of perpetual uncertainty and fear. The peaceful community of Waterbury was now shadowed by a chilling mystery, and the hunt for answers was just beginning. When Billy Smolinski was reported missing on August 27, 2004, the initial investigation by the Waterbury Police Department was slow and fraught with missed opportunities. Despite the family's insistence that something was terribly wrong, law enforcement did not immediately launch a large-scale search or treat the case with the urgency it deserved. Frustrated but determined, Billy's family began their own search efforts. Detectives Steve Pedbrisnak and Sazoska started by examining Billy's phone records. They discovered that the last calls made from his phone on August 24th were to a man named Chris Sorensen. 
When questioned, Sorensen revealed that he had received threatening voicemails telling him to watch his back. Billy's sister, Paula Bell, confirmed that the voice on the messages was indeed Billy's. This discovery hinted at a possible conflict involving Billy's ex-girlfriend, Madeline Gleason, and her new romantic interest. In the early stages of the investigation, several witnesses came forward with unsettling accounts. A young girl reported seeing men in the woods carrying what she believed was a body. Another witness saw a white truck matching the description of Billy's in the woods behind her house. Additionally, a group of 20-year-olds hanging out in a parking lot late at night claimed to have seen a man walking into a deserted driving range carrying large bags. These eerie sightings fueled the family's fears and pointed to foul play. The Waterbury Police Department searched Billy's home but found no signs of a struggle or foul play. However, the presence of his truck with his keys and wallet hidden inside raised alarm bells. The fact that Billy had left his beloved dog Harley behind was completely out of character and suggested he had not planned to be away for long. As days turned into weeks, the family's frustration with the police grew. Billy's parents, Jan and Bill Smolinski, hired private investigators and set up their own tip line. They put up billboards along Interstate 84, pleading for information about their missing son. Despite their relentless efforts, leads were scarce and the investigation struggled to gain momentum. The initial search efforts included volunteers combing through the Naugatuck River and surrounding areas, but these efforts yielded no substantial clues. As the days passed without any new information, the sense of urgency began to wane and Billy's case started to grow cold. The family's hope for a swift resolution was fading and the chilling reality of Billy's disappearance was setting in. In these early days, the investigation was marked by a series of eerie clues and frustrating dead ends. The community of Waterbury was on edge, haunted by the unsettling mystery of Billy Smolinski's disappearance. The search for Billy was far from over and the family's determination to find answers would drive them to continue their quest for the truth despite the mounting challenges. As weeks turned into months, the search for Billy Smolinski intensified. Frustrated with the slow progress of the Waterbury Police Department, Billy's family took matters into their own hands. They hired private investigators, reached out to media outlets, and organized extensive search efforts across Connecticut. The billboards they erected along Interstate 84 became a constant reminder of Billy's unresolved disappearance. Despite their efforts, the investigation was plagued by misleading tips and dead ends. One such lead came from Chad Hansen, who claimed to know where Billy's body was buried. Hansen's information led authorities to conduct three extensive searches in various locations, including a residential driveway in Shelton, private property on Bungay Road, and a wooded area in Oxford. Each time, the searches turned up nothing. Hansen later admitted to lying, leading to his arrest and conviction for providing false information. His false leads cost the police over $100,000 and diverted critical resources away from other potential leads. Meanwhile, the police continued to explore the possibility that Billy's disappearance was linked to his ex-girlfriend, Madeline Gleason, and her new lover, Chris Sorensen. Suspicion also fell on Madeline's late son, Sean Karpiuk, who had died of a drug overdose in 2005. Hansen had claimed that Sean killed Billy with a hammer and that they buried his body together. However, without concrete evidence, these claims remained unproven. In addition to Hansen's false leads, the investigation was further complicated by a civil suit brought against the Smolinski family by Madeline Gleason. She accused them of harassment for putting up flyers near her home. The legal battle dragged on for years, draining the family's resources and adding to their emotional burden. Although the Connecticut Supreme Court eventually sided with the Smolinskis, the ordeal highlighted the challenges they faced in their pursuit of justice. Throughout the investigation, Billy's family remained relentless in their quest for answers. They continued to work closely with private investigators, 
and kept pressure on the police to keep the case active. They reached out to the public through interviews, television appearances, and social media, hoping that someone, somewhere, might have information that could lead to Billy's whereabouts. In 2012, nearly eight years after Billy's disappearance, the case received renewed attention when it was featured on the television show, Disappeared. The episode brought national attention to the case and generated new tips, but none led to a breakthrough. Despite the numerous challenges and setbacks, the Smolinski family's determination never wavered. They continued to push for improvements in how missing person cases were handled, both locally and nationally. Their efforts culminated in the passage of Billy's Law in 2022, which aimed to close gaps in the missing person system and provide better support for families like theirs. The investigation into Billy Smolinski's disappearance remains active, but the passage of time has not dulled the pain of his loss. His family continues to hope for answers, clinging to the belief that one day the truth will come to light. The community of Waterbury remains haunted by the mystery, and Billy's story serves as a stark reminder of the many families still waiting for closure. As the years passed, the search for Billy Smolinski continued, marked by a relentless pursuit of answers and an unwavering hope for resolution. Despite the numerous obstacles, Billy's family never gave up. They held on to the belief that someday they would uncover the truth about what happened to their beloved son and brother. In the face of countless setbacks, the Smolinski family's resilience became an inspiring testament to their love for Billy. They turned their pain into purpose, advocating for legislative changes that would help other families in similar situations. Their efforts bore fruit with the passage of Billy's Law in 2022, a landmark piece of legislation aimed at improving the handling of missing person cases across the United States. The law mandated better training for law enforcement, streamlined the process of reporting and investigating missing persons, and created a unified database, NamUs.gov, to aid in the search for missing individuals. Despite these significant strides, the mystery of Billy's disappearance remained unsolved. The eerie details of the case, the threatening voicemail, the strange sightings, and the cryptic behavior of those involved continued to haunt those who knew Billy and followed his story. His truck, parked at the edge of the driveway with his keys and wallet hidden beneath the seat, remained a chilling reminder of the unanswered questions surrounding his fate. The community of Waterbury was forever changed by Billy's disappearance. The story became a local legend, a cautionary tale that underscored the importance of vigilance and community support in the face of tragedy. The billboards along Interstate 84, emblazoned with Billy's image and the plea for information, stood as silent sentinels, reminding everyone who passed of the unresolved mystery. Billy's parents, Jan and Bill Smolinski, continued to fight for justice, even as the years took their toll. They worked tirelessly to keep Billy's case in the public eye, hoping that someone, somewhere, might hold the key to solving the puzzle. Their dedication was a beacon of hope, not only for their own family, but for countless others who faced similar heartache. The search for Billy also highlighted the critical role of community and the power of collective action. Volunteers, private investigators, and supportive friends and neighbors all played a part in the ongoing effort to find Billy. Their contributions, whether through physical searches, spreading awareness, or providing emotional support, were invaluable. As the investigation moved forward, law enforcement continued to follow leads and revisit old evidence. Advances in forensic technology offered new avenues for exploration, and every tip, no matter how small, was pursued with renewed vigor. The hope was that someday a breakthrough would come and the long-held secrets surrounding Billy's disappearance would finally be revealed. In the end, the story of Billy Smolinski is one of heartbreak and hope, mystery, and resilience. It is a story that underscores the profound impact of loss and the enduring strength of those who refuse to give up.
Billy's family remains steadfast in their quest for answers, driven by the love they have for a son and brother taken too soon. The search for Billy continues, and with it, the hope that one day the truth will come to light, bringing peace to those who have waited so long for closure. <laughs>